Hello friends, welcome to this first video on finite difference method. Finite difference methods. We'll call FDM. Okay. So we'll start with the introduction. So why why do we need these methods? Suppose we have this differential equation dy by dx is equal to y upon x, right? And if I ask you to solve this differential equation, then you can easily simply solve this equation. This is a variable separable uh, thing and you can just separate the variable dy by y is equal to dx by x and then you can integrate. So you have ln y is equal to ln x plus some constant and I can write that constant as ln of a. So from here I get ln y is equal to ln stands for natural logarithm ln x a and from here I get y is equal to ax. Okay, so this was a simple equation and I have solved it. This was a simple equation and you can simply solve it. Right, now but suppose I, I give you this differential equation. dy by dx is equal to x square plus y square plus y cube plus square root of yx plus ln y. Right, and now if I ask you to solve this equation, it is almost impossible to solve this equation. Maybe there is a method, but it is very hard or impossible to solve this equation analytically okay so it means that sometimes this is this was an ordinary differential equation but same can happen with partial differential equation so we have a partial differential equation and ordinary differential equation and if we are able to find the analytical solution of this then we are happy okay and most of the times in the real life problems either to find the analytical solution is hard or it is impossible right but we do know that the solution does exist so in that case finite difference methods or in general numerical methods they are the saviors okay so in the situation when it is hard to find the solution of the differential equation or it is impossible to find the solution of differential equation we use the numerical methods and finite difference method is one of the most used and famous numerical method for solving differential equations either ordinary differential equations or partial differential equations right okay now what is the limitation of using of uh, solving the pds yeah, or, or ods with finite difference method now suppose i have this pd i told you i had this pd dy by dx is equal to y upon x and the solution of this pd was y is equal to ax right and suppose i have this domain uh, uh, my domain of uh, solving the OD is this 0 1 so I know the solution at every point of my domain right so if you are analytically solving your differential equation then you know the solution at every point of your domain but in FDM what is the idea the idea is suppose we have a differential equation let us say we, we are solving a partial differential equation and domain is 0 less than x less than 1 and 0 less than y less than 1 right so it means that a domain is something like this this is 0 comma 0 and this is x is 1 y is 0 and this is x is 0 y is 1 right and this is our domain this much is our domain okay this is the domain and we want the solution of our differential equation suppose I have some differential equation okay and I want the solution of this differential equation and this is my domain it means that I want to know the solution at every point of the domain at each point of the domain okay but this can happen only when we can analytically solve this can happen only when we can analytically solve the problem okay like in the above case right so now we say that okay we cannot have the solution at every point so are you happy if I give you the solution at some points of the domain okay then we say that okay something is better than nothing so therefore we are happy if at least we know the solution at some points of the domain right so what we do we do we divide our domain continuous domain into parts and we we want to know the solution at 
solution for a particular part or in case of finite difference method what we do we you know cover our domain with a grid and we would be happy if we know the solution at the grid points for example suppose this is the grid i have used to cover my domain and if i can know my solution at these grid points right then i am happy okay now suppose you can see that this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 points in x direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 points in y direction so this is the solution for this particular part right now suppose you can see that this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 points in x direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 points in y direction so 6 points in y direction so these are total 7 into 6 42 grid points right so i know the solution at if i solve this any differential equation this particular differential equation which i have not written explicitly if i solve this differential equation using finite difference method i would i'll be on this grid then i'll be able to find the solution at these 42 points okay now suppose i am greedy and i want to know the solution at more points then what i can do i can simply you know refine this grid i can add more grid points right like this i can add more grid points okay and then i can find the solution at these all these grid points and i can continue doing this i can refine my mesh i can keep on refining my mesh and this will give me better and better solution of my partial differential equation or ordinary differential equation right so this is what we do when we solve the differential equation with finite difference method so this is the limitation that you don't know the solution at every point of your domain but obviously uh, that is also not required you know the solution at points in in your domain and you can keep on increasing those those points and these keep on increasing those points that will be at the cost of the you know computational cost you will have more is the number of grid points more is the computational cost okay so this was the introduction of the finite difference method in the next video we'll introduce what finite difference method is thank you